Welcome back. Today we're at the Midwest Auto Collection and we're taking a look at a 2005 Maserati Quattro Porte Sport. Uh, this is the closest thing to an exotic uh, car you'll get in the luxury market. Uh, being at the heart of it starts with a Ferrari V8. It's a 4.2 liter uh, Ferrari engineered V8, makes 400 horsepower. It's routed to the Ferrari F1 uh, automated transmission. Uh, really an unbelievable engine, makes amazing sounds. Just on startup, you know that it's really something ins uh, inspiring because it makes some amazing noises. Uh, you can see the red heads on the engine, hence the name Testarossa, which is an old famous Ferrari adage. Uh, attributes that to the red heads of the motor, Testarossa being redhead. How about it? Uh, but I have not actually spent much time behind the wheel of a Quattro Porte, so we're going to take this thing for a spin here, which I'm extraordinarily excited about. Uh, but we'll take a walk around in the meantime and get to know it. This car being an 05 and only having covered 28,000 miles, it is really in an exceptional condition. And I have to really comment on this color combination because it's very contemporary. Blue is a uh, hallmark. If you look at the badge on uh, a Maserati here, uh, blue is kind of like their trademark color. All their cars, like the MC12, which they made off of the Enzo, is uh, all a blue car as well. But we'll walk around. Uh, over across the front, it's all in original condition. There's a couple stone chips uh, that you're probably not going to be able to see with the camera, but I mean, it's, it's stuff that's extraordinarily light. Everything's in excellent condition, though the headlamp lenses, uh, the chrome on that grille. Such a distinctive, understated look. It's a Pininfarina design body. Around to the side here, this is the 19-inch wheel that's part of the Sport package. Uh, Bridgestone Potentos on here. You got 245, 40R19s. Uh, and you can see the Maserati uh, cross-drilled rotors in there. But the three portholes on the side, that is often imitated by many other cars on the road these days. Uh, Pininfarina badging, obviously showing the design house, but all the way down the driver's side, there's no damage to speak of. All the glass, the chrome, everything looks fantastic. You see the Maserati symbol on the C-pillar there. Uh, and then around to the back, got the rear park sensors. Those are an option uh, built into the rear bumpers there. You can see got the uh, play frame there. We decided to throw that back on there. The Continental uh, Ferrari and Maserati dealer did do the service, just freshly serviced on this car. And all the way down the passenger side, I mean, it really is a uniform condition car all the way around. No damage to speak of and brilliantly well kept. The Maserati is not a terribly large car. It's about the size of a BMW 5 Series, if I really had to guess as far as scale. Uh, electronic hatch here will open the trunk. Decent sized trunk. Uh, it's larger than I had expected with these cars. You do have a second set of winter mats. We have the factory mats in there. Uh, these were just washed. And then, if you look inside, the trunk's in brand new condition. There is a tire inflator that comes with the car, just so if you don't get stranded. And then uh, you got the full books and manuals here, along with two keys. The interior on this car looks like it's been designed by Prada. Uh, very Italian, you can see the stitching is exposed. You got the contrast piping is actually an option on the car as well as the, the wood steering wheel. Uh, but some really nice options on this car. It's a very well optioned car, about $120,000 MSRP. I'm gonna drop myself in. I know I use a 5 Series as a frame of reference, but this really is uh, very much like a 5 Series and all the conventional feel. You've got a very ergonomically correct position here. You can see all the gauges perfectly. You've got a large racing style diameter steering wheel. Uh, F1 shifters on the left you hit down, right hit up. Uh, otherwise you can run it in automatic mode in which it'll shift for itself. But look at the attention to detail even on the door here. The stitching inlays and all. It's just a beautiful, the wood right down here, beautiful interior. Well as you said, I mean the layout's fantastic. This wood steering wheel goes really well with the interior. But, you know, it's really a uniquely designed car. I'm not going to tell you it's the most ergonomically sound. I mean, this is a little tiny bit challenging in a way, but it's still pretty straightforward. Radio, television, you got the TV, we're watching, uh, what is this, Rockford Files? But you still have all your conventional luxury items, cruise control, uh, automatic setting for your Xenon headlamps out front, fog lights, obviously, a multifunction steering wheel that you can control your uh, audio and radio functions. Uh, but below that, you've got the dual zone climate control down here that is... Obviously dual zone climate control. You've got heated seats in the front and also heated seats in the rear. And then if you look above my head here, by these luxurious door handle latches, got the factory power moonroof. It is optional. Jumping in the back seat, I'm still a six footer here. 
very comfortable. This is exactly where I was just sitting up front, so uh, I know where I would sit, but what a pleasant surprise that this has rear seat recliners. And they're really comfy. This is a lot more roomy than I expected as well. Uh, I do have the, the window sticker here. I just wanted to show a couple options here. We do have a CD changer, which is actually mounted under the steering column, which we'll show you right there. Uh, heated front and rear seats, rear park sensors, the contrast piping that you see there, uh, the 19-inch run-flat tires, sport package, moonroof, wooden leather steering wheel, the TV tuner in front, which you don't see that in every car, uh, and interior trimming. Not sure what that is, but it's $380. Uh, all in all, the MSRP 119690. A uh, heck of a car. It was delivered to Continental Auto Sports, which is the dealer that it's just serviced at. So, uh, bought new there, serviced there, and really just an exceptional car. I'm really excited, and I think it's time to go take this baby for a ride. Behind the wheel of this car, it's every bit of sports car. I mean, you, you really do interact with the car much much differently than you would in other uh, luxury cars. Uh, this seat probably has a much different character than sitting in any other seat of the car. Uh, really very comfortable. This interior really does look like it was done by Prada. Uh, the fit and finish is pretty impressive. Uh, they got exposed stitching. The piping is also contrast piping. You've got you know nice simple info displays here. So I've got the car in the automatic mode right now, so it's shifting for itself. Uh, it's still a manual transmission, so it's going to do the shifting for you. You will feel it shift because it is a single clutch, so it's as if the clutch is being actuated mechanically, but uh, very comfortable. I really do I have to say the first time being behind the wheel of a Quattroporte, uh, it's what I've read. Uh, if you look at the numbers, I mean 400 horsepower is obviously nothing to shake a stick at, but they say that it's a, uh, you know, like a 5.1, 5.2 run to 60 in this car and the quarter mile comes up pretty quick too for the kind of horsepower this car puts down. Well, this car is like a four-door Ferrari and uh, when you consider it's engineered by the Ferrari uh, engineers, it really was engineered to be the four-door Ferrari for the Ferrari owners that wanted something that was going to be of, of comparable use to their cars. Uh, you got a great Bose sound system. I mean, does Bose make a bad stereo? <laughs> does a bird in the hand equal two in the bush? <laughs> what a terrible, terrible commercial. It's like being in the Ferrari 360 where you just get the second lobe uh, of cams to open up. And also the active exhaust. It sounds like about 3,500, four grand is where the baffles want to open, but we're going to find that out here real shortly. Again, it's my first time behind the wheel of one of these. All right, this is from the low end of second gear, but listen to this V8 pull this car through. This is why the soul of an Italian sports car is definitely present in this car. Listen to this. better than the Bose sound system, which is remarkable. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> 